What's up, YouTube? I uh, decided to do this video just because I was reading uh, some of the comments that jo and I saw that John B. Free 29 left a comment on uh, these card houses. Um, so I kind of want to show you how, how they are. Uh, first off, just want to show you uh, the person that I got it from on eBay. If you can see here, um, he sells one individual card house for $15.95, and one individual card house comes with. Uh, I want to say 12 800 count boxes and of course uh, they're very very cool uh, and I'm going to show you the ones I assembled they're quite easy to assemble them yourself and of course um, of course here this is how they look like in person I guess if you want to let me get a uh, 800 card box out I guess if you want to compare the size here is the size of a 800 card holder box and then you just compare it sorry for the mess there's like a whole bunch of mess but uh, that's how it is and uh, the way I do it actually um, if I were to give some advice I would uh, buy two of them since it's, they're kind of cheap although the shipping is quite expensive especially if you buy two um, still it's pretty cool uh, if you actually do look at them, uh, the way I organize them is well, basically, once I bought the once I bought the card houses, I also bought the stickers as well, so that I can know which teams are in each specific uh, card house. Um, of course, not all of them are gonna fit. You know, there's some that have loose that hold other teams, and of course, I have a whole bunch more Laker cards, which this whole box is just all penny sleeved Laker cards. Uh, so you're gonna have your Kobe's and all that stuff in there um, And of course if you look at the way I organize them I organize them by team I also do the way I do it. Oh my god. I can't get it out because it's full cool. um, The way I do it is I pen sleep all my base cards it, I go through all of them and I get the notable players so good role players people who I grew up watching as well and um I just penny sleeve all of them. So basically, all the cards that are in in these boxes are penny sleeve, because um, I believe every every individual base card needs a home. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Well, I just uh, I, I'm really big on base card collecting. That's the only thing. Um, and if you can see, do I put numbered cards and inserts in here? Uh, I do put some inserts in there. I don't put numbered cards in there. Numbered cards they go and the in here particularly so i have them all organized by team so um like right here uh i know the lighting is horrible but like right here it's all my timberwolves cards and some of the notable players some of the notable rookie cards as well will go in here um and then yeah that's how it is obviously there's gonna be some teams that have more than others uh, like all this is all my Spurs stuff. I know the lighting is horrible. Uh, all this is also Spurs as well. And you're going to have Ginobili and then Parker. Then all this is Duncan. Um, I think in here is all old school Spurs. Yeah, all old school Spurs and new school as well in these two boxes. Uh, here, all this is organized by teams. Um, like here's all my Anthony Davis rookie cards, which are in here uh, from... Net, timeless treasures, you know, Don Ross Elite, all that stuff. It's all organized by teams. Same thing could be said with um, my hits as well. It's all organized either by individuals or players. Sometimes I run out of room, uh, like I, I, like Andre Iguodala. You know, there's some of his uh, patch cards I put here just because they don't fit. All my Adore or Rich Jefferson stuff goes in here. Uh, Nick Vucevic. Let's see, yeah, and here's all my Sharif stuff, here's Drew Holiday stuff. Um, and same thing here, like here's all my Cavalier uh, top-loaded cards, all the LeBron James, all my refractors and all that stuff, my Heat's in there. Um, just the way I organize it, it's, it's, it's taken a lot of time, but for me it's much easier to actually find the cards now. So like right here, I have more notable player autographs in here. It could be, and it's simply all autographs. It could be jersey autos. It could be anything, uh, just as long as they are notable players. And then right here is all my patch cards. And these can be anybody practically. Uh, oh, yeah, there's some stuff that I got for some people. So Nick, that is your card. There's some stuff in here that is also for John and for Adam. 
But of course, these are my. Um, I want to say these right here are all my jersey cards of regular, uh, regular players, I guess, or of just anybody. Regular jersey cards of players who are playing in the NBA today. They're all right here. All uh, the notable autographs of players who are playing today are all right here as well. Um, no rookie cards are in there. I keep the rookies in a separate box. All this is all Spurs uh, double cards. And what I mean by double is that there's two players on there. Legends and Hall of Famers are in, the, in here. All my Hall of Fame autographs are actually all in here. Although Jason Kidd's not a Hall of Famer yet, he will be. Uh, all my Immaculate uh, patch cards are here. Right here is all my retired Hall of Fame jersey cards. And uh, I know KG has not retired yet, but he will soon. And so will Paul Pierce. Here's Ray Allen. Uh, these guys, in my opinion, will make the Hall of Fame. So uh, Patrick Ewing. So you got a lot of stuff. Sorry for the lighting. I thought the lighting would be much better. Uh, all of these right here, these two rows are all retired autograph cards. So I'm talking about, you know, Tyrone Hill, Kurt Rambis, um... Who else? Michael Dickerson. Uh, got a lot of good players. Dan Nissel. So, and right here you have uh, retired uh, memorabilia. So like Glenn Robinson right there and all that good stuff. And Tony McDice. Um, but yeah, that's how I, I organize it. I mean, here's all my rookie cards right here. Rookie autographs are all here. And rookie memorabilia is this little stack right here. It could be patches or jerseys. Um, of course my room is a mess uh, there's all this stuff that I had to file away there's all these cards in here that I will probably give away uh, because it's base cards that I don't necessarily need all these need uh, penny sleeves and I keep everything up there so um, and all my penny sleeves in there so my room is still quite a mess yeah I see there's there's my Magic Johnson book card of course it's in a nice place um, but yeah, no, there's still a lot organizing that I need to do. A lot, it's a big mess. I'm still trying to move everything in and organizing everything at the same time. I don't think I showed you guys this. Uh, here's some of my books I keep up here. Um, there's some of them, and then there's like, I'm a huge Lord of the Rings fan, so there's like several of my Lord of the Rings figures. I actually have a lot more in my other house, which I'm still trying to bring over here. And of course, I uh, can't forget about Star Wars. And here's like some of my Star Wars Legos that I actually put together. Uh, Star Destroyer is actually pretty cool in person. I thought it was going to be bigger. And then, last but not least, some of the McFarlane figures of the NBA. And then, of course, the Star Wars figures from Episode 3. I have practically all of them. I just need several more. Um, and then I do have all the figures from uh, Episode 2 and Episode 1. But, yeah. That's how, well, technically, that's why I've been working on the past year. I haven't really been doing too much uh, as far as that. So, yeah, just wanted to show you the card house and how they are. Uh, in my opinion, it's really it's really worth it, actually. It helps me keep organized. Uh, if I'm looking for a particular player on a certain team, and if I can't remember if I have it, I'll know where it's at. So it's time efficiency, I guess, you know? So, uh, but yeah, that's it, guys. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you all soon.